This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor for RCR Wireless News. I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2019 at the Rodian Schwartz booth with Gunter Pfeiffer. And uh, you're going to be telling us about Rodian Schwartz's over-the-air testing for millimeter wave signaling. Exactly. Thanks, Kelly. So what you see right here behind you is our brand new CMX 500. That's the signaling tester for 5G and R. And all these cables coming out here, you see is actually the connection for the IF that goes up to those remote radio heads here on the side of the chamber that do an up conversion of the IF signal into the millimeter wave domain. These are multi-band radio heads, very compact in size, so you can go to all the 5G and R millimeter wave frequency bands. Um, the reason for doing that is you want to have like the millimeter wave cables as short as possible. And it basically means we run the millimeter wave signal into the chamber. Um, the chamber, or I should better say the rack that you see here, is called ATS800R. R stands for rack. And what it does is, it's I, I call it the, the millimeter wave wireless cable. So it's the replacement of a cable because in millimeter wave we have to test everything over the air. So now, how do you do that? Uh, the problem you have is typically you have a device of a certain size, see for example a tablet down here, and you don't necessarily know where the antennas are. So what you need is you need to cover the entire device by a, a plane wave in order to be able to do reproducible RF parametric measurements like we do with the CMX500. Um, so that basically means you need a, a big zone, so-called quiet zone, where you have plane waves. Um, and that again, because we can't beat physics, typically require like a huge chamber. Now if you have a big chamber, that's nice, but it takes a lot of room, it has a lot of other downsides like pass loss, etc. Um, so instead of doing that, you can um, maybe just use a reflector, and that's called compact antenna test range. So we have a nice reflector. The reflector is illuminated by an, a spherical wave coming from a feed horn, which you can see, well, you can't actually see, but behind that blocker here, there is the feed horn. So it illuminates the reflector and projects down a nice, big, quiet zone, nice plane waves. So it basically means you can just throw in your device if you like. You don't need to worry too much about the exact position of it because we have now a big quiet zone and we can do reproducible RF parametric tests in this very, very easily. Another great advantage of this design is that it doesn't take up a lot of floor space because it's integrated in a rack and there is space for instruments in the rack as well. So normally you would have racks in your lab anyway for doing all this kind of, your kind of testing. So this just takes a little bit of space inside the rack that you already have. We just put in the rack and put in additional equipment in there. So a big advantage, no real floor space issues, opposed to if you would use a, a huge chamber as you would need for that big quiet zone. That's ATS 800R.